name is Laura. I'm an artist and I'm going to show you how to make a pointy fabric flower. Um, you can use any fabric of your choice. I like this fabric, so I'm going to use this one. Um, any kind will work. Anything that's cuttable though. You don't want a very delicate fabric, nothing like lace, because uh, that might just start unraveling. Although certain laces are sustainable, but be mindful that you're going to have to cut this. So um, what you're going to do first is choose your flower pattern that you like. Um, you can choose one off of your computer or from a book or you can just create your own simple one or use mine. So what I'm going to do is just draw a very simple flower with pointed petals. Very graphic and bold. All right, and then once it's drawn, I'm going to cut it out with scissors. If you are using a thicker fabric, I recommend using an X-Acto knife. Um, it will make your life easier because scissors are a bit awkward to use. Um, but if you are using them, this is uh, you can just keep turning the fabric and it'll help you uh, work your way through it without turning your hand in really awkward ways because that's the most awkward part about scissors. So just keep cutting along your lines. Uh, don't worry so much about uh, about if there's any like line marks left on the fabric because the line side can be the back side of the, f of the flower so it can be hidden. Well, I'm almost at my last petal. And so I'm just going to show you the basic of like how to how to do the basic flower, but if you wanted, there are a lot of things you could do with this now that it's cut out. Uh, first of all, clean up the edges. But on top of that, you could leave it just as is, where it's just a sort of silhouette. Or you could uh, take another piece of fabric and of a different, of a different pattern or a uh, different color, maybe like a solid yellow or whatever color you'd like and make a round cutout for the center, either jagged or just very clean circular, and sew that in the center so that it has um, a center to it. Or you could just take this and put it on whatever it is that you're going to attach it to. And that is how you make a pointed fabric flower. I'm Laura, thank you for watching.